podcast name is here. In this video, we're going to be doing a bit of a demo uh, review and a look at some of the new features in iMovie 11. So let's get straight into this. Now, the first uh, new feature I want to talk about is basically Apple have added a couple of new themes. So basically, to access these new themes, you've got a file, new project. And basically, the two main new themes that have been added are the news themes and the sports theme we see here. Now, these basically are really professional themes that can be used for basically the news one could be used for a school project or the sports one could be used if you want to show off a football game and but I'll get into that. I'm not going to go too much into it but I'll just show you the demo here that or the preview they, they show. Basically it looks very professional. You've got the transitions, you've got the text at the bottom which can all be edited. It looks very professional like I said you can use it for a school project or something like that. Now the sports themes. So basically if you just filmed a football game, a soccer game, a basketball game, whatever you can Use this theme to match it up. As you can see at the top there, came up the scoreboard. You can get all stuff like that. You can add your own pictures. So if your team's got a, their own picture for their logo, you can add that there. And like I said, just like the new theme, looks very professional. All right, so the next new feature, and this is probably going to be the best feature in iMovie 11. I've been playing around with it all day, and it's just absolutely amazing, and it's just so fun to play around with. So basically, this feature is called Trailers. And basically, Apple provide a bunch of trailers, and you can add your own video, add your own text, and make it into like a real professional movie trailer. So to access this, you go to File, New Project, and just under the Project themes, you scroll down, and we have Movie Trailers. Now, um, we provided with about 15 or so uh, movie trailer templates. We've got Action, Adventure, Sports, Love Story, Romantic Comedy, Travel, all sorts of different stuff like that with their own uh, unique theme. Let's put the volume down a bit there. So basically on the side here, it gives you a bit of a preview. Um, so just, here's the blockbuster theme, obviously you've got holiday theme, all with their own like unique feature like I said. So basically you get the idea, then we've got action, uh, adventure, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to create a new project and I'll just do it a uh, YouTube test, and let's do create. Alright guys, so just before I begin, I really didn't have any proper video to use for this Demo, so I'm just going to use some random video here I took of outside my front yard and backyard. So obviously when I finish the trailer, it's going to, it's going to make no sense at all, but just keep in mind this is just a demo. Right, so basically here's your uh, outline of your trailer. So movie name, you got, uh, they have one custom for you, but you just change it to whatever you want. So I'll just change it to YouTube uh, test video. Release date, August, I believe it's that. Uh, star, Jake Cullinan, whatever that name is. Uh, gender, male, female, I believe it's male. Uh, studio, you can put your own name there, Matt Alcinas Films. Snow and Peak, uh, you got uh, Sunrise Through Clouds, we got Glowing Pyramid. So there's quite a few, we've got Spinning Earth, all sorts of cool ones. Uh, we'll keep it with the uh, sun, we'll go with the clouds. Then you can put uh, Directed by, Edit by, and you change your own names to blah 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 or whatever, and then music by iTunes. Now your storyboard is basically where you edit all your film. So basically we got all these like sort of blank pictures here, and they tell you what sort of picture the shot's going to be. So it's going to be 2.0 seconds long, and it's going to be a landscape shot. And that's basically the same way all the way down. Just all different shots, um, tells you what a bit about each shot. And basically you just drag the part of the movie you want into that slot. So just say for the first part of the film, I want it to show sort of around my front yard and get sun into it. So basically, uh, I'll just click on the bit I want and drag it with the yellow lines. So, oops, sorry. So just I want that bit there. And then simply just drag it over the clip and it automatically puts it in just like that. So as you can see, like that there. And basically, that's the same for everything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly put random clips into this. So just to make, uh, so I can show you a bit of a demo at the end. So I'm just quickly doing this. Obviously guys, when you do this, it'll look a lot more professional and then your video will actually make some sense seeing mine won't in the end. But all the, uh, basically, all the um, text you see throughout the trailer can all be edited. So here where it says a quest for glory, you can change it to whatever you want. We'll just do YouTube. So just keep in mind that can all be changed. So now I've added in all my clips, I've filled up all the slots, I'm happy with the text, um, I'm happy with the outline, so I'm just going to go ahead and play the trailer and show you what's gonna, what it could look like. So obviously it comes with the custom music. 
So like I said, trailers are pretty professional, but obviously mine doesn't make much sense because I've just went into the backyard and filmed some random video. But as you can see there, it looks very good. There's all different types of trend, uh, sorry, templates you can use. It's lots of fun and yeah, so definitely check that new feature out in iMovie 11. Now, so the most requested thing from iMovie 09 was a better audio editor and that's exactly what Apple have done in iMovie 11. So best if I just open up a new project, uh, create, and I'll drag this bit of random clip into here. Alright, so obviously you'll notice there's this button down here and this is basically the new audio editor. So if I click that, as you'll notice it brings up waveforms uh, below my video. And obviously because there's no uh, video, there's no basically audio in my video, the sound waves are very low so it'll probably just come from the wind or birds in the background or something like that. But basically you'll notice that black line across there. Now that black line is basically the average line for where it's just a guideline for where your audio should be at. So if it's on that line, it's perfect. And if it goes above that, um, it'll signal that by the color of it going a bit orange. So I'll just uh, demonstrate that. I'm just gonna select the whole video, just like that. And basically I'm just gonna go to the black line and move it up and down. So as you'll notice, I can move it up and down and it goes, uh, so I'm basically gonna put it to 0%, no volume at all. I can put it all the way up. And you'll notice that certain parts of the video that the tips of the audio start to go a bit orange because that's letting you know that the audio is going to be a bit too loud. But another cool thing is I can just edit only some parts of the audio. So if I just use uh, this part over here. So if I select this, just, just this part here, I can use the back black line and just drag this part of the audio down. So obviously for all here, the audio will stay the same. But when it gets to here, the audio will drop down there. And obviously I can put it up to 500%, but obviously it will be a bit loud. So that's another cool thing in uh, iMovie 11, the audio editor, so it lets you more precise audio editing and yeah. Now another cool thing in iMovie 11 is faces. Now basically this is also in iPhoto 11, so you could uh, know it from there, but basically to get this, you go to your clip at the bottom here, we just select this whole clip here, we right click on the clip, we go to analyze video, and then people. Now obviously it's going to do this detecting people thing, but because there's no people in my video, it won't detect anyone. Basically, what it lets you do is uh, if you have people in, yeah, like I said, no people detected. But if you have uh, people in your film, it's going to detect them. And then it's going to organize the clips for you that only have two people, one, per one person, a group of people, more than five people. And then stuff like wide angle shots, landscape shots, and stuff like that. So if you want to organize your shots or you want to make a trailer or something and you want just two people in your clip, then obviously this is the way to go because um, it organizes, organizes your clips for you. Like I said, two people, one people, uh, one person, sorry. So it's just an easy way of finding clips and getting around. Now the next cool thing in iMovie 11 is called One Step Effects. So basically these are great effects that iMovie gives you and the best thing about them is they're one step. So I got my clip up um, the top here. So I'm just gonna select the um, full selector, to say this first part over here. Basically at the top, you go to clip, and then here you have your one step effects. We have slow motion, fast forward, instant replay, rewind, fade to, special effect, and jump cut at beat markers. Now for the example, I'm just gonna show you the instant replay. So basically I've selected this clip here, so it's gonna show it normally, then it's gonna do an instant replay of just this part here I've selected to the clip. Instant replay, I'm gonna do 25%. So as you can see here, we have, so I'll just play it. So here we have the normal clip, and once it's done that, it'll play uh, an instant replay of that clip that I selected. So obviously it's slowed it down in slow motion, 25%. You can put it a bit faster or a bit slower. So that's just another cool thing. And you'll notice it also comes up with the instant replay text at the top there. So I'm just going to go ahead and undo that. Now another cool thing is our slow motion. So we can put this into slow motion there. So obviously it's the same clip that I selected before, but now it's just in slow motion. And keep in mind, you can also do fast forward. Then you can also do uh, special effects such as flash and hold the last frame, sorry. So that's all different types of cool things. Um, fade 2, we've got sepia, dream, black and white. So definitely check out these new one step effect features in iMovie 11. All right, so now just going back to the audio, another cool effect is audio changer. So basically what this does is change your audio and your clip to all different sorts of cool effects, stuff like that. So I'll just go to settings, uh, clip adjustments. 
and down here at audio effects and just a quick note that the video effects are basically all the same from iMovie 09 but if I go to audio effects so if you say we got muffled black classic multi-chain short wave all these different cool effects that you can probably hear me talking in now so these are really cool effects <laughs> Like that. You've got pitch down, pitch up, and all sorts of stuff like that. It's another cool feature in iMovie 11. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. Uh, this has been a review on iMovie 11, just showing all the new features and stuff like that. And we've got trailers, the new themes, better audio um, adjustments and audio changes, and then the one-step effects and the faces option, which most of you would know from iPhoto 11. So guys, leave a comment below. Personally, I think... Um, uh, iLife 11 or iMovie 11 is great. I'll also be doing a review on iPhoto 11 and GarageBand 11. So there'll be some links in the description, annotations probably through the video and stuff like that. But subscribe to this channel, Mad Ask Daniel, some more um, Apple news, reviews, and all sorts of stuff like that. And also, I made some trailers from iMovie, some proper ones. I actually took some proper film and stuff like that. So there'll be links in the description for that as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment what you think. Personally, I think iMovie 11 is great. A great upgrade that everyone should get, or Mac users should get, really. So thanks for watching, and peace.